Transgender soldiers have been fighting for your right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness since 1776. My name is Zaylor Stout, and I'm the author of Our Gay History in 50 States, and I help people learn about history that was not taught to them in schools. So picture this. It's 1991 in Ventura, California. It's a beach town where you can smell the saltiness in the ocean air. Now, Ventura, much like Orange County, where I grew up, was very, 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 very white. Now, I'm 17 now, just turned 17, and maybe 95 pounds soaking wet. I have my cross colors on. I have my Walkman cassette player at my hip, and I'm excited about learning about Black history. So I start a Black student union on campus. But the tension in the community and at the school at this time is just really hitting a fever pitch. Because seven months earlier, somebody caught on tape the Rodney King beating. And the police officers that were on trial were only on trial about 34 miles away. Now, there's a particular Thursday that's seared into my memory that I will never forget. It was 345, school was let out, and I was so excited to get home and talk to my parents about my prospects and my future. I had my college application in my hand, and I was just ready to go. And as soon as I got to the curb, I heard the screeching of a car tire, and I was able to look just in time to see a skinhead hop out of the car. He ran up to me, punched me in the face, and yelled out, nigger! He hopped in the car and took off, and all we could smell is the burning of the rubber. My college application fell out of my hand and hit the ground, and a drop of blood that fell off of my face hit that cover of that application. And it was that moment that I was thrust into the limelight, you know, interviews and NAACP and school board meetings. And I even had gang members come up to me and say, you know what, dude, we can take them out. Just let us know what you want us to do. And I was like, no, that's not what I want. What I want is to be able to learn my history. And what I want is for other people to be able to learn about Black history. Because my belief was that the more that they would know that Black folks have made amazing contributions to this country's history, that maybe they wouldn't treat me different just because of the color of my skin. Fast forward to college, I'm on the track team. I think I'm maybe around 155 pounds by then. And I come out as a member of the LGBT community. And I go to the school library to find some semblance of myself reflected in history and I didn't see anything, at least nothing that looked like me. And then I thought to myself, well, you know, I was actually kind of privileged being Black, at least to a certain extent, because I was able to learn Black history at home for my parents and my family. But think about queer kids. How many of them are raised in, in LGBT homes? Not many. So how are they supposed to learn about their history? A few years ago, I was honored honored, honored to be able to speak at the Quorum National Coming Out Day Luncheon alongside Judy Shepard. That's where I met Dennis and Judy. They're the parents of Matthew Shepard, who was brutally and heinously murdered in a hate crime just because Matthew was gay. Now, it was really challenging and difficult for Judy to get through her comments on that day because it was the 19th anniversary of her son's passing. 19 years where she had her last opportunity to hold Matthew's hand and, and say goodbye to him. And so when I hugged Judy, you know, I realized that this cisgender straight couple was living through the worst day of their life every single day for me and my community so that we could hopefully have a society that would accept us for who we are. And it reminded me of a book idea that I had. And so within two weeks, I met with the publisher. Within two months, I started writing a book. And two years later, just in time for the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Riots, Our Gay History in 50 States was born. I'll never forget the moment I had my hands on my first copy of my book and looking at the rim and seeing that rainbow flag and thinking to myself, how different would my life have been had I had access to this history, to my history, to our history? The book's done well, um, won awards. Uh, clearly there was a need because 2,500 people bought copies of this book within the first year. And even the state of Illinois has picked it up as a textbook for teaching LGBT history to the kids in the schools there in that state. And it shows that 
you know, we are here, we've always been here, and we've always had and contributed significantly to our country's history. So my ask for you, if you're an individual, is to use the link to buy a copy of the book and donate it to your old school or donate it to a, somebody that you love. And if you're with an organization or a company, you know, sponsor the book. Sponsor the book for your city, for your county, for your state. Buy 10, buy 300 and donate them because it's going to provide the opportunity for kids to see themselves reflected in history and to know that they can also be history makers themselves.